Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our monthly Angel Scope for the sign of Leo for January 2021. Happy New Year. I've forgotten to say that <laughs> in some of the videos. Um, and welcome um, to my channel. Welcome new subscribers and first timers and welcome everyone. So I'd like to just start by just making you aware of some of the things that go on in my channel. Um, every week um, on the weekends, I publish a general reading, angel reading with tarot and um, oracle cards um, every weekend. And um, five days a week, Monday through Friday, I write a angel message, um, daily message um, on my Facebook channel, uh, Facebook page rather, this YouTube channel on the community post. And I think it goes to my Twitter page. So below are links to the Facebook page and the Twitter page. Um, and you would just um, go to my channel on YouTube and you can find it under post. And also for the month of January, I have extended my um, special offer angel reading for uh, my half hour reading for $77. I, it is now has been since the pandemic extended to be one full hour. So if you'd like to um, have an angel reading with me, um, what you would do is you would go to my webpage, theangelschool.com on the services page, and you would just select the regular half hour reading as is for $77. Within 24 hours on the first business days, I will send you a confirmation email indicating um, the special offer and instructions for you to submit your uh, time availability. And I'll also indicate when um, you could start to send that. Just be aware that it will likely be two weeks um, or within two weeks or close to that, um, that you would get, be there might be a, um, an angel reading available. So just be aware of that. Also, there are no restrictions um, with this. If you've had a reading with me before with this special offer, um, it is open um, in that regard. So don't worry about that. All right. <clears throat> so let's be begin a Leo and let's tune in. And one of the things I just want to start off with is that the angels have been showing me um, for everyone for this month, the the um, hermit. So they sort of drew a vision um, for me of the hermit. And so it is telling me that in this month, and we'll see how it relates to you specifically as Leo, but it's given me a sense that um, we really need to sort of go within um, and really be um, spiritually mindful, thoughtful, aware um, of what is coming up for you. You know, this this month, I think, really sets the, the stage for um, your the, the rest of the year. So it's really important that we um, allow ourselves to really get, find alignment, um, to allow ourselves to be enlightened, not to just keep repeating patterns. So there's a, a, a thing of breaking patterns and um, and not just continuing those forward. So we have this free space. Um, we're in this higher stratosphere of frequencies. And this presents with us new possibilities, but we really want to be mindful um, as we engage that. So Leo, what they're showing me is a tree and a very sturdy tree. So that's great, but there is sort of a, a, a double um, ax uh, double blade axe that they held in front of it. And so the tree it tells me that you really need to ground. And I feel like um, like you've just been sort of hacking away or um, just really going sort of like almost um, in a very, been very busy, very driven, um, very, um, you know, determined in some ways. And that you've just been, Maybe um, 
you, you know, maybe you've had a sort of a prolific year or in some way of expressing your creativity. And it feels like what they want you to do is to, they don't want you to, to stop being who you are, but they do want you to reconnect um, and make sure that you are um, being open to new possibilities, new um, forms, uh, new formats, new um, approaches, you know, in your in your process. And they just wrote the word empowerment in front of me. So I also feel like with that X, um, that, you know, you have the opportunity to empower others. You have the opportunity to help others express something. So whatever it is that you produce will just almost speak for people. They'll feel as though you're speaking right to them and you're giving them a voice, you know? So um, there's that word syncopation again that came up. And so, you know, it's almost like thinking outside of the box or being really creative outside of the box. Um, you, you know, something might take you out of that, your normal zone, and it might frustrate you, but it's really going to be of great value. So it feels like, you know, less thinking about ourselves and thinking more about others and that the approach and this need to sort of really break up um, patterns and really, um, so just sort of the word empath. So they want you to be more, um, 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 I'm trying to think of the word, <laughs> empathetic when you are, um, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever you're creating. Um, and I just saw the word <sighs> consequence and muscular. It's, it's sort of like, you know, just be aware that of the consequences of what you produce. And I don't think they meant that in a negative way, um, but you know, the idea with muscle, it was sort of like, don't, don't muscle, don't wrestle, don't, don't, you know, tone down, uh, don't be aggressive. Um, be, be more imbalanced, be more open. Okay, wow. So I didn't realize much time had gone by. All right, and you actually have pulled the hermit card. Um, you're the first, and this is your archangel is Raziel for the month. And Archangel Raziel's name means the secrets of God. And I feel like that there is this there's new information, um, things that you haven't even layers of your abilities that you haven't even tapped into yet. That extremely powerful and magical. Right. Um, and so that you really want to not just rely on what you're what you know you're capable of. But, you know, and I, and I don't think it's going to be like something's forcing you, but you're going to have this instinct and something might catch your eye, you know, uh, like a, like something bright. I just had the word bright or brightness. And it just might bring this brightness into your life, like turning on a lamp. And you may think, oh, I don't have time to really do that because I got to get this done. I got to, you know, crank out all this work. But take the time to work with it. Um, they wrote the word tangible. So be thinking about tangible, um, tangible, practical, tangible goals. All right. Be receptive to these tangible things, tangible goals. Um, and, and really focus in on them. Um, I don't see so many words like fragile. Wow, there's just a lot of talking here. Um, so, do, you know, don't don't worry that, you know, you're not going to break. You're not going to lose your lucky streak or whatever that might mean. Um, just trust, okay? All right. So you're going to need this time to really listen. So do more listening. Pay more attention. Be more um you know, in touch. Now, the messenger of thought is the page of thought, if I um, have this correct, because I think it's um, healer, helper, and guardian. Yeah, so messenger's page. And so um, there's something that you're going to be learning here. And so it's going to really be valuable to you 
um, to kind of really be open-minded and pay attention. So the card says a new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information that uh, may require changes to your plans. Review all documents carefully. You know will meet or you know, oh, my glasses have fallen off. You know will meet or are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant, truthful, but also blunt and very diplomatic and not very diplomatic okay so um you know just it, it feels like you just being open to this is going to be really good for you um that you that if you're open to it, you're going to really learn really love what you're learning and it's going to it's going to open up um more avenues for you to express yourself so just in the, it's still and and you know Again, I feel like this last sentence, just be aware of this in yourself, you know, um, to be mindful of your temper and um, and how you come across or how you communicate or express yourself. OK. All right. So I send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful month and happy new year and God bless you.